yeah. kind of what you were looking to do as a team the rest of yeah, the Yeah, naturally it was a little, little bit different. Uh, yeah, certainly we would love to have Amari out there. And that obviously, you know, naturally in the NFL, you only have so many guys on game day. And so, uh, you know, I think I think we managed it well. Said did a really good job stepping in and uh, gave us a really good opportunity. You were in probably more full personnel than you had all season. Yeah. What do you think you were able to get out of that grouping? Yeah, I think there's some positive things. A combination of probably the way they're playing and also just the reality of where our personnel was at that, at that point. And so uh, I think we got some positive things out of it. So hopefully, uh, you know, can build on that moving forward. What do you oh. need to see from Gallup this week to step up for number one receiver? Yeah, yeah. Michael just continued to, to be him. And, you know, I think so much of it is just the preparation aspect, preparing the right way so that when we're out there, we're, we're all on the same page and we're ready to go. Are we making too much of the starts of games the last three weeks? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously we want to start better. Uh, that's part of it. You know, it's little things. It's, you know, we can probably help ourselves out from a scheme standpoint. We can help ourselves from an execution standpoint. And uh, there's a lot of variables into that, but uh, certainly something we want to do better. It's, it's The buy is sometimes good for this, but do you have time to go back and look and say, have we fallen into a trap we don't know we've fallen into, or a habit, not a trap, but a habit? Yeah, no, I think you, you try and look at all those things and uh, you know maybe find a couple things that maybe something to address or look at or clean up, uh, whatever they may be. Obviously, yeah, next week we have a little bit more time, but this week, you know, hopefully we're able to do some of that as well. Not to overhammer this, but yeah. uh, the only opening possession score that you guys had this season was the field goal to start the game against the Dolphins. Yeah. What do you make of just what you're getting out of that first scripted drive? Yeah, yeah, we're just we're just not playing as well as we probably should and could. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of variables, and so every game's kind of got its different aspects. I think we've moved the ball decent in a few of those drives. We just haven't finished with any points. Is it hard to watch it on film? Zeke's second carry, the one where he's behind Travis. And <laughs> that was, not, there was a lot of yards. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of potential there. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of potential there, and, uh, and we're close on a few things. We just got to clean them up and get a little bit better. This team is, I mean, you all like to run the ball regardless, but with the situation with your tackles, how much does running the ball play into protecting Dak? Uh, I mean, probably you recognize it. There, there's certainly value to it. That's kind of natural for all football if you don't, you don't have tackles. But, uh, you know, I think uh, Brandon, Cam, you know, they did a good job. They went in there and did a good job. And, uh, you know, I think we just got to keep some balance in there while, uh, while still being able to attack. How encouraging is it to see Tyron and LC back out there a little bit today? And if you guys can get them back, how big is that? Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Obviously, you know, they had, they had helmets on and cleats and all that good stuff. And so <laughs> that's always fun to see those guys out there. And, you know, I think it's kind of one of those you just got to see how the week progresses. And uh, you know, ultimately, probably we'll figure it out on Sunday. Understanding there's game situations that dictate what you do, but the play action seems to be much less percentage wise than what you did early in the season. Is it strictly falling behind and doing some things when you look at it or yeah or? I, mean, I think yeah I think there's you know every matchup's a little bit different every uh the way defenses play and then obviously situations will dictate that in a lot of ways and so uh you know maybe unfortunately we've been we've been behind a little bit the last couple of games and so we've kind of had to get a little bit of a drop back mode in the second half and uh, you know that may alter those those percentages but uh certainly play action is a big part of us we, we like it you know when you get the run game going and you can build all those things that are complementary a lot of good things happen because of it more effective doing play action against the zone defense rather than man yeah potentially yeah get, get things behind those zone defenders and obviously man there's still value to it you know you're creating one-on-ones probably pr trying to protect it a little bit more and we'll see how that thing progresses are you glad that Jalen Ramsey won't be in an Eagles jersey on Sunday? <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, I mean, saw the news, you know, we're playing later, so eventually <laughs> we're going to play him, so it's pretty good. If his back injury's healed. What's that? If his back is healed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. good chance probably now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd like to say you, you always want to attack in different ways with, with different players, but yeah. when you're struggling or you know, you're you're having a, a period where you're not having success you want. Do you lean back on Elliot or the guys you know who have been there before to kind of help you get out of that so you can get back to using all your weapons or how do you approach that? Yeah, I think it just comes down to executing and obviously there's value. If if you get the ball in Zeke's hands, a lot of good things happen and so it's naturally you, you may fall into, hey, let's get get some uh, positive things going here. Let's let's hand it off to Zeke. Let's throw it to certain guys or whatever. But uh, we feel really comfortable with a lot of guys. We just gotta we just gotta go out there and execute. And I think it's it's little things. Little things go a long way. And when you add up all those little things, uh, turn into some really positive results. Tony Pollard was a guy that obviously played some receiver in college. Yep. And 
you guys obviously like that about him. Yeah. What have you saw from him as a receiver since he's you know, been in this building? Yeah, he's done a good job. He's done a good job. He's uh, kind of building on that aspect of him. You know, naturally, he's, he came to play running back first and foremost, and uh, he's our backup, and he's been able to contribute in a lot of positive ways that way. And as it progresses, you know, hopefully we can continue to build on what he's able to do. Is it game with a guy like Tony specifically, his versatile skill set, when you try to figure out ways to use him, is that about – in-game situation, trust in what you think he can handle? Like, yeah, what's the biggest element? Yeah, I think it's just, you know, first and foremost, you know, he's got to be good to go as a run, running back, and then hopefully he can build on that. And uh, you don't want to throw a million things at him, you know, when he's when he's still in this early process of his development. But uh, he's done a really good job of it. And, you know, by situation, there, there might fall into some situations where you can get him out there a little bit more. And uh, obviously that would be really beneficial for us. Kel, in the first three games you guys used play action, I think 34% of the time, and the last three it's been 17%. Why the drop? Yeah, uh, good question. Yeah, we were just talking about that, and I think maybe, you know, obviously when you fall behind a little bit, when you fall behind a little bit, I think, you know, maybe naturally you, you get into a little bit more of a drop back mode, and uh, certainly we, we still want to contribute, and, you know, using play action, I think it's really beneficial to play complementary to our run game, and, uh, you know, every game's a little bit different, and we'll just kind of see where it goes. I saw what the offense was last year before Amari got here. Yeah. And it wasn't real explosive last week without him. <laughs> Connecting dots. <laughs> no, I mean, we'll see. Obviously, you know, last week was a little unfortunate kind of going into the game. And, uh, you know, he kind of got he – w- he went out after the first drive, and so obviously that changes things a little bit. Uh, we'll see how this week progresses. And uh, with or without him, I think we got a – Probably got a better understanding and feel for you know how, how we can adjust and all that good stuff. Because at least this week you prepared not to have him because he's not. Probably play. probably a little bit, yeah. And then you know at the same time you, you still recognize if he's available. Awesome. Let's 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 go out there and let's rock and roll. Was there, was there any indication pre-game that this could be a short day for Amari going into that? Uh, not necessarily. You know he he, he didn't practice a whole lot, but uh, you know he, he was like you guys know off the report, but uh, you know. I think uh, we're, we're optimistic, and we'll just have to see how that goes this week as well. I mean, you were surprised when he came over. I mean, that's fair to say, right? When he came over the first series and said, "I I, I can't go today." I mean, yeah. I mean, we, we, we knew we knew he was. He, yeah, he's banged up. He's battling through some stuff, and you know, hope, hopefully, he can play. He could have played a little bit more in that game, and uh, you know, you recognize though at the end of the day, you know, if he's not feeling right, we got next guy up, and you know, fortunately for us, I think Tavon. Went in there, contributed in some really positive ways. Said said went out there, so uh, it was good for those guys. Devin going to be available. I mean, as far as necessity and available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Certainly he's healthy and available. And you know the tricky thing is the NFL rosters and what you have on game day and trying to balance out all those different things. How impressed were you with uh, Dak's willingness to stand in there and take a lot of big hits? Last yeah, time? yeah, uh, big time. It. Uh, doesn't feel great when you're calling plays and he's taking taking hits, uh, you know, at the level that he did. But he, he hung in there. He battled. He kept fighting. You know, a couple times he ran it and uh, made some really positive plays. And uh, you know, he's banged up and sore. You know, but came back out Wednesday and pads and was ready to rock and roll again. Being a former quarterback, have you had games like that when you have? Or- with your mindset, I guess, when you know that you're going to be probably taking a lot of hits in the circuit. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, Dak doesn't flinch. And that's the fortunate thing we have with him, that he continues to fight and battle, and uh, he gave us every chance to, uh, you know, stay in that game and give us an opportunity to win. Is it easy for a guy's eyes to go down in, that, in those situations, like to look at the rush and not down the field? Yeah, probably natural, natural for a lot of people, but uh, Dak does a really good job of playing every play, you know, the way, the way he would, and uh, he executes, and, you know, he took some shots, and, Hopefully, you know, maybe we'll see if we can avoid a few of those this week. Thanks, Colin. Okay. Appreciate it, man.